Hello guys, my name is Carlton and I'm here to take you through on how to do a drill and blasting uh, designs in Sepak. So what you need uh, to do first is navigate to your working directory, the one that you want to work in in 30 days ago. Uh, set, is, set it as your working directory. So for this project, I have uh, the current pit design. So the current pit uh, topo, then the the pit design and the pit string. So from here, what you also might need is uh, the blast blasting boundary, the area that you want to focus on. Or you can actually digitize it but here we have already done this this is our the one in white is our uh, blasting uh, area so you have to check where it starts and where it ends this area so what you do is go to inquire then points properties uh, we have these points from the string and this one is at 12.25 the following is 12.15 the other one string is 12.15 which means the uh, 12.15 will be our bench uh, our first bench so we want to take everything up to 12.15 so the other information that you need is uh, the gradient of the walls from bench to bench so what you do you go to inquire then you go to a bearing between two points so i want to bearing from here up to there so my gradient is minus 74.9 so i can take it as 75 i'm just rounding out off so you can actually check on many areas but then this is designed with the same so i know that's my gradient so from there you can just uh, click here, right click, then go to menu tools, then select the blast design. After selecting the blast design, this uh, blast design uh, menu will appear. Again, you go back there and select the two bars, then you select blast design again. Then you have these tools for blast design. So from here, let me just press escape. What I need right now is the blasting boundary and the rest I can switch off. So I'm going to switch off everything here and let be left with the blasting boundary. So if you don't have a connected uh, blast to a database, you can create one. You just come here, then you go open, then name it. I uh, will name this one cow, then apply. Then I apply this whole information. I, I don't need it. You can adjust depending on your mind and what you prefer. Then from there, I uh, will come here. There is something called uh, modifying charging and defaults, uh, charging defaults. So here is where you select the radia, the radia diameter of the hole, uh, the rig to use. So. If you want to add another rig, you just come here any point, then you say you right click, then say add. Again, symbol, then charging defaults. We already have these charging defaults in here, but if whatever you are using is not here, you can always add it in the SG and the price per unit. Then again, the detonators, it's the same thing, and the boosters, but I'm going to use the default ones. Then the rock type, uh, we have the default ones which come with the software. Then you can actually add yours. And again, with the firing uh, defaults, you just press and add. Then after finishing everything, you just say apply. So now that we have finished with the modifying chargings, what you do in this case, you want to, if, if, you, if you check here, according to our pit design, this is the edge, so we need to, to, to put a pre-split here on the edge. So for pre-split, so we know that this is the area that you want a pre-split. So what you do, you come to this icon, then uh, digitize blast holes along a segment, then you select that one. Here on, on the bottom, it will ask you select and start uh, the starting position and drag to the end selection. 
so you i want to start here my pre-split as i drag you see that x marking the area that are the along the string then i will let go after finishing it will give you something like this so again pre-split parameters so what we know is we want to use the spacing sometimes depending on what you are doing you might need to use the number of holes so you select the number of holes if is the, that's what you want but in this case you want to use spacing you want the spacing of uh, 2,5 according to the results that I've been given we want to the colors to be on uh, the DTM that we have the current DTM so layer name you select the layer name when the current p2 it automatically uh, add the object id so the tool that you want uh, the elevation to be at sometimes you might need it to go to the dtm or you want it to go to a segment in this case we want it to go to an elevation so we are setting an elevation of 12 15 the one that uh, we acquired uh, before then do you want to offset now it depends do you want the uh, pre split to be exactly online or you want to offset it some few meters from that line in this case you want it to be as it is so i'll leave it at zero then there is the sub drill according to where you will be working uh it changes and it varies so our sub drill is going to be 0 0.2 for this one we want the holes the whole bearing settings we want them to be pre to the segment then we have the whole bearing which is zero then whole deep that's the gradient so we want minus 75 for that then the diameter again 0 0.1 then here labeling now because of uh we want the prefix for our holes you can actually uh, actually use the prefix or the uh, suffix id we want the prefix uh, for that and we want it to be p meaning pre split then starting value again and the paid uh, length we want it to be two so that we can have zero when it reads it's zero one zero two zero three up to ten eleven twelve going up uh, upwards and so forth then here we want it to be clipped uh, clip to boundary now depending on the information that you have you might choose the type of rock that you want to blast so in this case we don't have a rock type then we the pattern identifier want it to be named as split we we'll leave it like this uh drill rig you choose the drill rig that you want to use maybe you have some information that you have uh given us in this case we want one then you just say apply so it will ask you select direction to apply a perpendicular bearing from the segment uh apply a a selected closed segment this is our seg closed segment sometimes you might have uh, everything going in the different direction like this you just have to redo and check where you went wrong so in this case i'll just delete all the blast holes i'll redo the what we are doing but i will do it a bit faster so that i won't waste time then don't be afraid to make mistakes because we are learning it's part of the learning processes and again everything seems okay uh, select select uh, again now as you can see uh, the holes are pointing in the correct uh, direction that's the area that you want so from there what you need because we have already finished with our pre-split we will need to go to design regular grid now depending sometimes you might need uh, to put uh, some blast holes just in a line you just select here but here we want to put uh, a regular a uh, grid but before doing that we need uh, those uh, holes to be inside the just after the pre split not on the press split so what you can do you can go to create here a digitize i want to change the properties to maybe three string property and then apply then i'll go to create digitize new point then i want to stick it as close as possible to my 
uh pre split uh so maybe we might need another hole here so it's just some adjustments that you might need to do other than that it will be fine so i'll just digitize up until to the end so i have a closed seg so that i will have a closed segment in as fast as i can then i'll close here as you can see this is our new area the one that doesn't have our drills we want to put drills there so from here you go here to uh, design regular grid of blasting then i select something like this so that i make it as big as possible so that you can fit to our uh, drilling area it will ask you to that uh, if you read here on the bottom it will tell you if you want to move the um, things left or right you just left click move it up to where you want it then you can actually rotate when rotating you press control and the left click on the left side and on the mouse so that it fits perfectly i want it like this i think i'm satisfied like this then after finishing it depends with your laptop or your computer mine or want me to press f n and f2 but some who apply with uh, f2 only so mine f n and f2 it will give you a setup like this yes from there you have the blasting settings so python identifier i want to be it to be bh a uh, drill rig i want to use the drill rig too you can actually if you're having one drill rig again you can choose the drill rig that you want i want to use the drill rig too and uh and from there sorry two then from there blasting method and groundwater level it depends if you have water there then here it will ask you uh bedding and space spacing and the type of rock again you choose in this case we are not choosing the type of rock bedding and spacing you either you want number of holes or bedding and spacing so our bedding is two three and spacing 2.5 so again you select clip to boundary because we have already digitized the boundary which is the blue one then we want them regular or staked now it depends on what you are you used to do then whole uh, order we want them zigzag then we go to whole settings some people usually forget this area when you say apply without putting any settings it will refuse to finish so here you go to whole settings i want the holes to be on the layer again the current pit layer like this a uh, elevation a uh, position i want them to go to up to 12 15 uh, 12 15 which is our bench then again sub drill of 0 0.2 then i want them to be vertical so it's minus 90 everything is okay then here the prefix for the, those ones i can even use b because i want them it's it doesn't matter it depends with the, with your mind then again from the paid number then i apply they need to ask, select a close segment for this so our segment is the one in blue so we select it as you can see we now have our blast holes so you can press escape then we no longer need this uh blue line so you can go to edit segment and delete you select the segment you want to delete then we are done don't forget sometimes you just need to save your work a uh, blast holes apply so that if we make a mistake we can come back to here now after doing these blast holes we want uh to charge them it depends again with uh what you are using so you can charge all of them at once or you can have an area that you want to charge uh let me do an example uh, here sorry you can charge all of them here you can charge inside the segment or you can charge a single hole you want to charge we want to start with the 
uh, pre split these ones. So, what you can do, you can actually is go to create, then digitize new point. So, the reason why I'm doing this, I want to charge these ones on their own. Uh, they seem to have the uh, same almost the identical uh what we call it uh, identical depth then we might save the other ones let me start again create this size new point these ones from here it might have uh a same let me include this one so again close So with that we won't waste time, I will just leave these ones as they are. So I'm coming here to say a uh, charge all holes inside a, a digitized box. Charge all holes inside a segment. We want to use a segment. So we want to charge holes inside a segment. Then up to which depth? Uh, a pre split sometimes it's half the depth. So you check uh, the um, you inquire sorry let me go back here you can inquire the length of your your holes you come here and then you say inquire point properties you select the node of the hole it will tell you pre-split uh, and you check the depth and it's coming from here so we want to to uh, sorry we want to charge it halfway so the total meters is 6.5 uh, 6.2 we want to charge it to 3 uh so we are coming here then we go to charge here then we are saying we want to charge it to the depth of 3 meters minimum depth at minimum charge length we want it to be 2 so that anything beyond that it won't charge then we say the other things we will leave with them is there then we say apply then you to select the poly. We are selecting this one. Then after finishing, press escape. Which one? This one is charged. Then you are having the charging report here. And since everything is okay, if you want to use the uh, charge uh, segment use this one i'm assuming those holes are uh, deeper than the first one so we go to four again two meters then you say apply it will ask you to uh, the segment this is the segment to show you everything how it's charged that's our pre-split then escape then if you want to charge the rest of the things you can just select uh charge all now it depends charge all you want to charge it up to depth of 10 meters or for 10 meters whatever you have then you just say apply then it will show you the holes which are charged and the ones which are not charged the ones which are not charged they won't uh, meet the minimum requirement for charging which means these are shorter holes they are shorter than two meters as you can go you will find them some of them you just identify them or you can delete them if you want it's up to you then we say okay here we are done charging which means our holes are charged again don't forget to save so now we want a firing sequence you can uncharge and redo if you want you have an uncharge here so you want to edit a firing sequence you come here make sure that you are on plain view again this is very important make sure that you are on plain view then you come here and uh, firing sequence generate a firing sequence we have already available firing sequence if you remember I want to use the uh, diagonal in this case to the active layer this is the active layer that we are using so I will just press apply sorry output name we forget to put the output name so the output name I will just uh, use my name as this then we say apply then it will ask you uh, click and drag to define the diagonal line in so you select the diagonal to the right of the line so 
I want to use this one is my diagonal line, the pre-split. So I'll click here, drag it up to uh, here maybe, in release. It will show you a diagonal line, something like this. Then you are done charging and firing sequence. So from there, you can actually check your firing sequence by coming here. Then you uh, go to firing sequence animation like this. Then again, you select the active layer. Then animation speed, you can change it depending on what you want. Then you press apply. So as you can see, the, those red ones show you how it's going to fire. Uh, going along the diagonal until it finishes firing so whatever you want to do adjustments you can adjust from there uh, going upwards you can go back to the uh, firing sequence if you are not satisfied with the sequence that you are having then you edit from there and i guess this is what we are uh, this is our finished product I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Again, don't forget to upload the whatever you have done. You upload it into the uh, Blast uh, database. It will ask you, then you just say yes. Charging, load charging data. And you just say a report name. You give the report uh, a name. This is the name that I prefer for the report. Then it will give you where the errors are and where the correct thing is. And this is what you are having a charging report like this. I hope you enjoy it. Then you can, from there, you can continue. Apply. Fail name. Apply. And you are done. If you are still watching, I think you will be wondering uh, where you get you can get the information, the blast uh, holes and everything. What you do, remember we have the database and everything here. You can double click and it will open like this. Uh, it will take a while. Then from there, you can access uh, the charge, the caller for the area that has been charged. The meters uh, to drill, the drill hole and uh, the drill ID, the pattern and rig, everything. The rock type, the sub drill that is required, you can have all the information on the data piece. So from the caller, even this towel, the survey 